Hi everybody, this is the next episode of the RI Opinion, and there's been a lot of news lately in sports. Most recently, Tim Tebow has been traded to the Jets, but there is a snag in the trade. For this trade to actually happen, the Broncos need to give up either a 4th or a 7th round pick, and the Jets would need to also give up one of their 7th round picks to complete the trade. I don't think this trade makes sense for Rob. Either team, more likely the Jets, because even if Sanchez is not the quarterback for the future, I believe Tim Tebow isn't either. So I feel like the Jets are going to be kind of looking for their quarterback for a while. In basketball, the trade deadline went and passed. I talked about, I broke down the Monte Ellis Andrew Bogut trade in Milwaukee. There were some other trades that interest me. Nothing interests me more, though, than the trade the Los Angeles Lakers made. For Jordan Hill in exchange for Derek Fisher to the Houston Rockets now this is an this has made an impact because Derek Fisher is currently buying out his contract and such forth is not going to be playing for the Rockets at all so so in other words the Rockets pretty much got nothing but a first round pick in other news this is some sad news actually personally my favorite player Greg Oden has been waived by the Portland Trailblazers and one of many moves they made over at the end of the trade deadline this is one that struck me personally hard not only as a Trailblazers fan but as a Greg Oden fan I personally don't feel like he's done in the NBA though for example I use him I always compare him to Antonio McDice and Grant Hill how they had multiple surgeries and then they ended up coming back having some nice careers Grant Hill actually is still currently playing and he's doing pretty good for himself. Odin, yes, he has had some serious injuries, and he hasn't had as many as those other players I have mentioned. But he's a number, he's a number one overall pick for a reason. And it's not like he got any worse while he was playing. He was actually he throughout the two seasons he did play, he did improve each season. He he went up two rebounds and he went up almost four points a game differing from those seasons. He actually currently he averages nine points eleven rebounds a game. Which is more than I can say for most people that have been playing five seasons and haven't missed a game. 